Hey all you cool cats, thanks for tuning in to the uh, new episode for the RPG add-on series. Uh, so what I'm going to cover now in this episode is I'm actually going to uh, implement the experience system. Uh, so that's leveling and experience for the main character, um, and of course you know, gaining experience from killing enemies and gaining experience from completing quests. So it's actually not too hard to do, um, took me a little while to get my head around some of the parts, but everything's working as it should be. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come to our player controller. We're going to find him in the menu here. Uh, sorry, in the hierarchy. And I'm just going to press F. I'm going to take it out of 2D mode so that's playing around with it. Um, just so I can see in there. I like to see the character when I'm playing with it. Anyway, uh, so we're going to add a component and once we click on that we're going to go just type in level and we're going to look for V level manager. Uh, and this one here, this is how we set up uh, a lot of our stuff. So um, uh, yeah, so we got our base XP value. Uh, I'm going to do what he has, uh, what uh, Evil A's got in his video. I'm going to set that to 2000, and then the maximum level. I'm actually going to up that to 10, so you can get up to level 10. Um, update stats would level up. I want to have that ticked. And then we got here this one: stat trends. Now there's actually a stat trends uh, prefab, or okay, maybe it's not a prefab, but um, you can actually get it from uh, the demo scene from the uh, melee combat system. Um, and pull it in from there, or you can just create a, um, a blank uh, or a, an empty game object in the hierarchy and then apply the, uh, the the scripts to it. So we've got here max health trend and max stamina trend. I'm just going to have them set up as they are. Um, what this does, this just uh, holds how stats will actually go up as uh, levels increase. So it's a way of, of managing that. Now I'm actually, I've got these uh, the trends set to just blank um, or blank lines, so they'll go up by um, a, a straight value for each time you level up. Uh, and that value here is uh, percentage and that's 15%. So it'll take 15% of my current health and then um, increase the health amount by that and the same with the, the stamina. Um, we can look into that uh, in depth a little bit later when we want to start trying to set up um, the full experience system. But for now this is just how to get it um, on and applied. Uh, coming back across to our player, uh, we bring it down here. So now we've got stat trends, we can actually drag this and uh, this is the, the game object that holds all of our different stat trends and we've got here stats holder. Uh, we don't need to put debug mode uh, experience function. I'm gonna, you can have logarithmic or power rule. I'm gonna leave it as the power rule for now. Um, putting in logarithmic and then trying to change around. I've, I've noticed actually crashed my uh, Unity and I don't really know why, so I'm just gonna leave that. Um, then you've got a couple of event things here. So on level up, uh, on gain XP and then on gain stats. So you can actually have stuff here um, that you can trigger off, so say you can have a particle effect uh, at the base of your character and then on level up it triggers that particle effect to like a bright flash of, of light or something like that or a little puff and a, maybe a sound effect in that too, so you can list them um, here to to meet when those functions happen. All right. um, so the next thing we do, so we've now got it so that the, uh, the player can actually have um, experience points gathered. What we need to do is we need to be able to display the amount of points that he has. So we can come down here, we need to look for the XP HUD which we've got a version of here. Um, if you don't actually have this separated by itself, it might just be UI, uh, which will take us a little while to find the, the exact one, but uh, this one here is subsystems, uh, uh, so the evil uh, a RPG pack prefabs UI prefab. So we can drag that onto here. And this is, you see, it's the same as the VUI, um, but it's just the, the UI system here. Now if we do this, uh, if we go back to the scene view, if I click on 2D, and I look for this, you can see it's got to be expanded out to the same as the rest of our UI, um, but I don't want to have everything else. So I'm going to drop that as a child of the main UI system. Yeah, it's going to break the prefab, that's fine. Um, now it's got this little box here and this sort of square and looks a bit funny here, but that's all fine, that's how the canvas is supposed to be. Because we're using the same canvas as what the um, the other one's going to be, it'll work fine by just childing it. Um, so now we've done that, and we're just going to check that. Yep, the XP hard. There's nothing we else, uh, nothing else we have to set up on that. So that's all fine. So now we're able to see. Uh, if we have a look up in the corner here, we've got new text. This will be the um, the level that you are. Then the blue meter there is the um, like a slider bar to show you how much XP you've got to the next level. And then there's a number readout here just underneath it. Um, now we don't have the radar turned on, so that's not going to interfere with any of our other stuff. But you can obviously move it around, put it where you want. Maybe you want it underneath here, or you want it at the bottom of the screen. Um, really just depends on what you set up. I'm just going to leave it in the top corner because I don't really care about it too much. Um, now we're going to figure out how to give our player uh, XP so we can actually watch how that works. So I'm going to find our Goblin Shaman. Um, this one here is actually turned off, so it's number two that we've got. 
All right, cool. So on the Goblin Shaman, we need to add a component, and it is going to be experience. So it's an experience component. Um, we chuck that on, and then it's got the experience cost here. Well, I want it to be 25 points. Um, you can destroy after use. Uh, I'm going to leave that at the moment because I think that basically means that once it's used, it will destroy the script. But if you've got this set up um, later on, which we'll, we'll set it up with the, the spawning system, um, it will respawn the same prefab, but it might actually not have that script on it. So if you've killed that one and then you go away and you come back and it spawns again, when you kill it again, you're not going to earn any points for it if you destroy it. Um, but if you want it to earn each time, then you're going to need to leave this script on there. So we're just going to leave it there for now. We'll play around with that again in a, in a future episode. Um, that's all we need to do for that part, but what we need to do is we need to actually come up to our control AI uh, We need to look for events and you can see on receive damage on dead is the one that we're after So we're going to click plus on that and then on dead we're going to go uh, Goblin Shaman 2 so we're just dragging the object onto itself Then we're going to click down here go experience component and we're going to look for add experience from component So that's the little function there that we need to call so when it dies, it's going to add experience um, and through the experience component script, and that will send the experience to our player. So that's one way that we can um, gain experience, and we'll, we'll set that up, we'll leave that. Uh, what we might want to do now is we want to actually set it up so that um, we get experience points from a quest. So I'm going to go to our quest list editor, I'm going to find our first quest, which is find Mr. Helpy, and then I'm going to add an attribute to it. And if we bring this value down here, you can see there's a whole bunch here. We want to look for experience gained. So we add that and then we're going to write in here, we're going to say 50 and we're going to click add and now it's got experience gain 50 points. So now when you complete this quest, uh, you should gain 50 experience points. So we're going to test that out. Um, what we'll need to do though is I'll need to actually be somewhere nearby where I can do this. I'm going to find my player, hit F to find. I'm going to drag him back down to our original start point, which was down here. Um, obviously not floating up in the air, although it's cool. Not, uh, I'm not putting in that kind of a magic spell just now, so we'll put him down on the ground. Uh, and now we need to find the, uh, I just want to make sure that I've got it, so NPC, Mr. Helpy, uh, where have I put, let's go Cillian, discover Cillian, discover target Helpy, there you go, so this is it here. Um, we don't have to set anything up with this because this is just triggering our quest and our quest should do, I just wanted to make sure I was outside the bounds. All right, so we're going to play that now, or I'm going to start up my controller. And we're going to play that. And we're just going to wait for it. Uh, okay, so my HUD, ooh, there you go, it's got a lot of that uh, popping up. So yep, so the HUD says new text, new text, and isn't actually giving our level up player. So we'll have a look at that shortly. Do I not start with a quest? Oh, I've already taken the quest off, so that's not going to help us at all. All right, so let's have a look at why that is not listed for our player. Um, so let's have a look first at our experience HUD, XP stats, experience, current level, XP stats, and down to our player, player's definitely got it on there. All right, I'm just going to pause it there and I'll uh, come back once I have figured out the solution. Okay, and we're back. So it turns out there isn't actually a problem. Um, it may be just a little bit of a bug, and I'm going to raise that up with um, Evil A. Uh, so it was actually working. Uh, the thing was is that I didn't have any experience points already on my character, so I didn't know what to put in these fields, so it left it blank, which is why, um, yeah, the image was, uh, was a great out one. Um, so what I've done since then is I've actually added on uh, our quest in the start quest. So the same way we added it last time, just so I brought in Discover, and then just add quest, and we put it in there. Going to cancel that. Um, so that's on our character. Uh, everything else is exactly as I set it up before. I haven't made any changes to any of the um, options. But now when we run it, uh, you can see once it loads up. So yeah, as you can see here, I've just got the the fine Mr. Helpy accepted because I've got that as my starting quest. And you can see in the top right hand side there, uh, if I bring it to yeah, I can't, I can't because it's going to not have my mouse winner. Um, so it says new text and then new text, but when we run across here, 
and we get into the trigger for our experience. You can see it automatically switches, oh, yeah, you've got experience points um, to get to level two. I need 162 points. I'm currently on level one, so I'm gonna to talk to you here. Um, now I've got the next quest. Uh, however, I don't have any experience points set up on it, but we can set that up so, uh, shortly. I just wanna test out to make sure that my character can actually attack and kill a goblin and we get uh, some experience points from that. Find our little goblin shaman, here he is out here. I'm just gonna gain my stamina back so I can actually go and attack him. Here he comes. Mm, dangerous. Need to actually hit him. There we go. And then you can see 25 experience gain. So it's popping up at the top there over the top of my compass. Might have to just drop that down, but that's a matter of switching the canvas. As you can see uh, on the right hand side on the top right it says level one. Now I've got 75 points, so that's all working uh, as well as it needs to be. So there you go, so that's how you can put experience uh, points into your game and onto your character. Um, again, this actually is pretty cool because it doesn't need to tie into the quest system. You don't even need the, the quests themselves. You can actually just have this on random triggers and random components in the game. So if you're making more of an action adventure game and not really a combat style game, um, and you just want it to be like, you know, as soon as you reach certain goals, you get points, um, then that's the way that you could do it as well. Anyway, thank you for tuning into this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you again next time.